Hey y'all, welcome back to Sidewander Shed. What we're doing right now is I, I pretty much had this transmission together and uh, then I hooked up with uh, Damien from uh, First Responder Garage and what he sent me, bugs, why are bugs here? What he sent me, uh, this is the direct drive clutch on the transmission itself and it only had uh, basically a where am I at it had a three there we go it had a three clutch pack um yeah just let me remove those it had a three three clutch pack um and what we're going to do, he sent me a very thin steel, an extremely thin, uh, but uh, friction plate, but it's made of a different material, so it's okay to be thin. That's what he told me. He also sent me another spacer. If you can see, this is the, uh, the original spacer. And this one here, if you look at the edges, you can see how thin the edge is here. Instead of here, that's this is where the C-clip goes. Okay, and that's the other thing he sent me. And this, believe it or not, is a wavy C-clip. It's not a straight one. And the wavy C-clip kind of acts as a little bit of a shock absorber. This is my old wavy one. Now... The difference between this one and this one is one and a half thousandths. I, um, I measured it. The other thing is, I measured, took a reading on all my friction discs as well. And, um, here's a brand new one. This was, uh, this was a very thick one, believe it or not. This one was uh, 0 0.950 or 0 0.0950. And uh, that was the thickest out of the rest. The rest are all running uh, roughly about a thousandth thinner. And so I also grabbed one of my old ones, which was just a thousandth thinner than that new one. Why that one actually ended up being a little thicker I don't know but uh, basically what we're gonna do move that out of the way okay and in here is also a steel a thinner steel unlike the uh, other clutch and I can't remember if it was yeah this one yeah I think it was this one you you only have the one thin uh, steel plate instead of uh, the two thick spacers so what we're gonna do is put the uh, steel in now we're gonna put a friction in Followed by another steel, and this one is uh, a little thick. Followed by the old friction disc that was in here before, and it's still in good shape. And like I said, there is, uh, there's really nothing wrong with it. Put that in, as a matter of fact. Let me double check myself and see if that's the right clutch. Um, talking to somebody else, there's two different style clutches. You got our friction plates. You got one style in here and a different style here. I will show you the difference. Okay, so I'm back. 
and this is the friction plate that goes into if that's the direct drive anyway it goes into this section and these are literally about two thousandths thinner and talking to uh, my brother-in-law who has done this same modification uh, he said that for my use my particular use if I wanted to I could use one or two of these friction discs and it's not that big of a deal um, and as you can see these ones here only have a few marks on them I'm hoping you can see that yeah there you go whereas the ones for the uh, direct drive they have a whole lot more and it's hard to pick up on the camera but um, not only do they go this way but they also go this way it's just the lighting it's hard to see the old ones the one that was in here before is just uh, designed a little bit different. It does the same thing, but there's a whole bunch more styrations, I guess. But it doesn't matter. Um, they will work, from what I've been told. But I'm using one of the old ones just because it's just a little bit thinner. And it'll give me my clearance. See, I've already put this together and I already uh, checked the clearance on it. Um with all brand new uh, friction discs and what I measured was 97 thousandths and that was without the wavy ring being compressed so I could probably add another two thousandths to it and the bottom end of my tolerance is 96 thousandths so I'm, I'm within specs okay but anyway, now we're going to put the steel in that uh, Damien, uh, First Responders Garage, gave me. And this is number four. So, and this is also the friction disc he sent me. That's number four. So now I have a, a four-pack friction disc instead of three. I have an extra uh, clutch disc in there. All right. Now... Instead of using the spacer, this thick spacer, we're going to put this one in. And, as always, now you get to see me, and believe it or not, this is a wavy um, C-clip retainer. Now you're going to get to watch me, as always fight with this one to put it in and putting it in isn't too bad but because of the ridge on that last plate when I put it in and took it back out it was it was, it was a little hard to get it back out and I'm not all that great with the wavy disc anyway all right now to actually measure my clearance It's almost impossible to get this in here and under the wavy disc or under the wavy C clip. But what I can do, and the reason why I say this is because it worked before. There we go. I can lift this uh, spacer up and see what we have for space. Now, this. Did I pick up the right ones? Let me count. Yes. This is 97 thousandths. Come on. Get under there. There we go. It's a tight 97 thousandths. But that's 97 thousandths. And what you have to remember too is that wavy disc 
or that wavy C clip is not compressed yet. So I can still pick up another thousandths, maybe two thousandths of clearance. And why am I going underneath it? Because I'm just looking for the movement. How much clearance do you have? It doesn't matter if I measure on top. I don't know if you guys can see this. It doesn't matter if I measure on top between the spacer and the retainer or if I measure underneath or if there was a slot in the back here I could measure that it it's not going to change uh, my measurement so right here I have 97 thousandths and again like I said that's without the uh, wavy um, retainer C-clip being compressed in other words if that was an actual flat uh, retainer with the same thickness I'd probably be, I'd probably be showing 98 99 thousandths and um, my tolerance is anywhere from 96 thousandths to 136 thousandths all right so I'm right within specs right within specs and so there we go. That's the uh, modification. I have a four disc clutch pack assembly now. Whew. Okay. Now, I've shown this before. I may edit this part out, but basically um, this just goes back on here now. And you just kind of... Not supposed to do that, so I'm gonna try and make sure this fits down there properly. I think I'm hanging up on a tooth here on that extra clutch. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this won't work. Maybe that spacer is still too thick and it's touching the edge. No, there we go. There we go. There we go. That looks good. What I am going to do, guys, and to be honest with you, just to double check myself, can you, let me see. Yeah, you can see that gap right there. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart, put it back together, stock, and... See if I can, yep. Yes. See if I can measure this space just to make sure that that spacer is not touching the top of this um, or changing, you know, the height. So I'm going to do that. You don't need to see me take it all apart again and, of course, fight with that uh, C-clip is a <coughs> Okay guys, we're back. I checked everything. This is not sitting too high. It's not touching. Okay, we're doing good. I have plenty of clearance and with intolerances. Everything looks good, so. Put this. There we go. Right back together. Yeah. The other one. Put it back together. Stop. Did the same thing. Okay. You look here. Zero. The gap here is roughly the same, it, it's actually the same thing, it barely reads on there, it's like 1,000, same thing with the other, so, so 
don't sit any higher, it's not sitting any lower. Everything is sitting fine. Whew. So that means this is done. I hope you can hear me. I forgot to turn the fan off. It's still hot here. Everything checked out. Everything is fine. That's done. I'm going to put it back in the transmission, but I already have a video of doing that. So I'm going to end this one. Thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Uh, Damien, um, First Responder Garage. Dude, thank you so much for your help. I truly appreciate everything. Mopar Nut, uh, my brother Joe, uh, my friend Jimmy down here at Highland Springs Transmission. Y'all have been such a great help, everyone. And if I forgot to mention somebody, I am sorry. But I'm hot, I'm tired. I'm going to put this back together because uh, I hate doing things two or three times. <sighs> and there's no need to uh, video doing it two or three times if there's no change so uh thank you all and uh we'll catch you on the next video